I'm sitting here a month and a half after getting home from Shambhala and I'm finally editing and finishing this vlog. And this is such a special, special time capsule of one of the most beautiful and perfect journeys I've been on in this lifetime. Going to Shambhala on a whim with my dear friend Abby, who I barely knew at the time of deciding to go on this trip is oh i forget what i said before oh my god spaghetti for a brain basically thank you so much for watching this journey it starts off with our road trip starting in colorado and we drove up through jackson hole into the grand tetons went on beautiful hikes swam in alpine lakes journeyed into um Yellowstone where we like saw the most amazing waterfalls and these crazy bacterial mats and buffalo and all the way into Glacier where we saw the most ancient dense profound nature and trees and mountains that I've ever been able to like be in in my life um up until Shambhala and yeah if you ever have an inclination to go to this festival like please go it is phenomenal um yeah so enjoy and follow me on instagram ruby in love with two e's at the end uh yeah <sighs> Snooki is having the best car ride ever. Like, are you kidding? Are you kidding? That's a dead, dead forest. Kind of bad timing, Loki. You know what? Snooki would love that. <laughs> Snooki loves that it's dead. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Look at that face. Come on. <laughs> Promised land, Shambhala. The line of cars at Shambhala is actually ridiculous. Like, it takes people 18 hours to get through this line. Nuts. This is our campsite before, you guys. We literally lucked out. Like, the entrance to the festival is right there, past that white bus. And this is our spot in the forest <laughs> shaded and we met a friend on the journey and now he's joining us brandon say hi yay we'll show you the after it's gonna be epic <laughs>
I know you think you're a piece of shit, but I love you and we're gonna get through this. And I started supporting myself. And I realized that if I'm able to love like the ugly parts of myself, if I'm able to hold my failures and, and the ways I've let other people down with compassion, nobody's perfect, let's find a better way. It created these stepping stones and more light got revealed and more joy got revealed. And all I wanted to do was take my talents and my art and share it out with people and share it out with my community. So truly a gift to see you all here, to be with you, to go on this experience together, to be in this bizarre human reality together, seeking, searching, exploring, trying to figure out what it is. I don't think we'll ever figure it out, but the point is let's enjoy the process as much as we can, whenever we can, and just like amplify that up together. And I, and you know, I look at this tree, I look at all the trees, and when you think about it, like a tree grows in two directions. Like it grows down into the earth, like the roots, and that's like the invisible part. And then it grows up towards the light. And it needs to grow in both directions to be a strong, vibrant, living thing. And it's the same with us. We have to grow in both directions. And that means being able to hold yourself, the dark, the dark aspects, the light aspects, the shadow. And so I hope in this experience you can feel whatever it is that you feel and don't judge that. And I, I don't even know how to end what I'm saying. That's the end of it. Uh, you guys ready to do this? You don't have any boogers. I don't see any boogers. The festival is over, you guys. I have to walk home. Not all the way home, just the car, but. I don't want to leave. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty my friend is, too. Oh, Skyler. Hi, friend. Mmm, oh. dirty. That's so dirty. So dirty. So dirty. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Happy Shambhala. It's the best weekend ever. <laughs> Love you.